since the mid 2000s, I've been doing a lot of technical work, things like IT based systems administration, network administration, systems architecture. Uh, then I went up to, you know, director of technology, IT manager, that type of thing. And then when I came to China, I continued that same trajectory, more director of technology, eventually a CTO of, um, of a, a visual effects company here in China. So my background really is in technical stuff, uh, but I, I resigned from that career this year and I finished up writing a book, which is out now and did a couple of appearances. I was on TV and a few pretty big podcasts and other interviews and stuff like that. So I've kind of changed my purpose from doing technology to trying to connect with people out in the world and communicate about my story and kind of, um, kind of break out of my shell. One of the things that originally drew me to technology is that no matter how you look, like tattoos or you look, you know, wearing a t-shirt, actually as long as you can get the work done efficiently, in a good way, better than everyone else, as long as you can kind of be a rock star at getting that technological challenge solved, they don't care what you look like. No one cares. They, they don't care. I mean, you can have tattoos on your face and horns. If you can solve their problems, then they want you. And so that's one of the reasons that I really started to look at technology is maybe I can do that because I had tattoos and I'm, I'm not kind of like a very um, formal guy. And so technology was what I really started to look at in the beginning. So at the visual effects company I was working at here in Beijing, I worked there for four years and it took a while to get used to the different culture, the work, different work environment and that kind of thing. I didn't have any opportunity to try to learn Zhongwen in school. So all the Chinese that I know is from just asking people, what are you saying? What, what is that? Huh? Say it again. What do you mean? What does that mean? How does that mean? So I can say a little bit, but not too much. I was doing technical management before I came to China and that continued when I was here. But there was a lot of new challenges like dealing with the cultural shock, dealing with the cultural differences, understanding the differences in how businesses work and that kind of stuff. I managed around 100 people in six cities, four in China, one in America, and one in Malaysia. It was mostly technical staff, but also heavily interfaced with HR, accounting, and the operations teams. As a CTO, it's an executive position, so almost my entire day is spent with the CEO, the CFO, the COO, the CCO, and the vice president. And they all have very different job responsibilities, but I'd say that the CTO is most similar to the COO. Every day I'm out there making sure stuff is working and people are getting stuff done and movies are getting made. The way that Western people think about work, leadership and who's in charge of who and what my responsibilities are and just all these types of things is totally different than the way that people in China think about them. And so there was a lot of frustration. There was a lot of learning, you know, and, and expanding and growing. Being a technical manager, like a director of technology or IT manager, you can speak the, the language of technology to, the, to your juniors and they can sort of work with you to get the best solution going. But being an executive level manager is a bit different because you interface with a lot of people who aren't technical and deal with a lot more interpersonal skills. It was a lot more discovery of who I am as a manager and a leader. And there was a lot of mistakes early on, a lot of frustration and not understanding the cultural differences and how to push through barriers. Sometimes I would say things that the Chinese team would misunderstand what I meant and think that I meant something else, or they would say something and I would misinterpret what they said. So these types of things, even with translation, there's a level of interpretation that that you just kind of need to get a rhythm for. Over the years working with Chinese people, I've learned a lot of things about them, a lot of things about China, and I think more importantly, a lot of things about myself. You know, I've known a lot of people in my life. I've had many friends and, you know, I've been in relationships and all that kind of stuff. And I say that the thing that really strikes me about Chinese people that I never knew about them before is that I feel like Chinese people are very similar to myself in some ways that are kind of interesting. 
um, I feel in some ways closer to Chinese people than I do my own people, even though I have, of course, many good friends, many close relationships in the West. No offense to you guys. But in general, I tend to get along with Chinese people a little bit better. I think that we kind of understand things in a similar way. You know, they tend to work together on things and tend to have certain views about the world and about their, their country and them, themselves that I just really find wonderful. And um, another thing that I think I learned about Chinese people is that they're really into teams, right? They really like to build stuff as a team, build things together and to cooperate to get things done which is really nice because in the West, you get a bunch of people who all try to go and be Mr. Hero and go try to save the day. And a lot of them just suck at what they do. They just have been told that they're good. They've been, they're told that they're amazing. They're told that they're special all the time, and that they're this amazing person. They're not good at their job. And so you have to like get them all together, careful their fragile ego, you know, don't insult them when try to like, they're just like, babies. I don't know. And there's something different about the way people work in China where you have people that are kind of more focused on getting the job done, like actually working. And I have a very strong work ethic and I, you know, I just really appreciate that. And it's something that I didn't know about Chinese people. There's so many things that I want to say about Chinese people, not just at work, but also my personal relationships with them. Some of my close friends here, my bandmates and other people that I really want to do some videos to kind of explore the interactions and kind of really expose what I'm talking about because I think about these things all the time, very in depth, very detailed, and I come up with these um, opinions based on evidence. And I think that the way that I feel about Chinese people is right. And, you know, I'd love to do some videos about that.